everybody, my name is Jagiero and welcome back to another episode on the Afterlife SMP server. In the last episode, I built this wondrous, beautiful building up here. This is for the sort of shopping district area of the cyberpunk city. And honestly, um, I'm pretty happy with this particular building. Mm, this looks a bit weird, doesn't it? It does. I'm going to allow it, okay? I'm just going to let it go there. I'm, I've basically, I, I really liked these colours when I first did them, and now I've gone off them quite a bit. But it's okay. That's perfectly fine. Now, this is hiding a concrete maker behind there, and I haven't really uh, figured out uh, how I'm going to make this look nice or have a nice way to get up to that. That would be a really good idea, I, th I feel like. Um, I've even got a bridge going across to a little viewing platform. Why don't I go take a look? Viewing platform to the aquarium up there, and I don't even have a nice way to get up to that just yet either. So yeah, need to deal with that. So eventually, um, along this row here, and also along the other side of this, there's going to be plenty of different shops. A lot like this one. Well, no. I say that, not a lot like this one. This is more of a, like the, the cyberpunk style. This is more of the future, future style. And then along here is probably going to be more of like the townhouse style. But shops. Okay, so this is going to be like a shopping bit. Haven't really figured anything out for that just yet though. So, uh, not going to be doing that today. Uh, today, what I am going to be doing is something over here. As you can see, I've cleared out a whole bunch of space. Because I really wanted to um, just move along to this sort of area of the city, to be honest. Um, it's going to be dark soon. Broken Pixels is on. He is the B-dubs of the server. In that, well actually, in two ways. One, his builds are awesome. They're really great. You should go check them out, particularly his uh, Dragon Bridge video. Check that out. It's so good. So good. But also, he sleeps all the time. It's great. I don't have to ever use a bed. You just, just give him a couple of seconds and he's in it straight away. Brilliant. A wonderful human. Also, he's Scottish, so he sounds amazing. His commentary. His accent. It's beautiful. Okay, so as you, see, as you can see, a lot of space over here for a few builds today. We're going to go with quite a few, or at least we're going to cover quite a bit of area, okay? Have a couple of builds this way, and then probably a couple of builds this way, and then on this side, a couple of builds this way, and then probably a couple of builds this way, at least for the townhouses. Not too sure about what's going to go up at the top just yet, but the townhouses are going to cover quite a big area. In fact, I should probably do that now. Yeah, okay. See, see, I've told you. Check it out. He's sleeping already. It's beautiful. It's amazing. He must carry a bed where, wherever he goes. Probably even in the nether. Quite dangerous. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start um, a couple of builds here, I guess. We'll start with this corner build and maybe go that away. And then we'll check out how they look because I don't really know what they're going to look like just yet. What I'm trying to do with the sort of townhouse builds around these areas is just keep it a little bit random. And uh, I never really know how it's going to turn out. But luckily, so far, uh, we've not been doing too bad. Yes. There, isn't it beautiful? No, it's really not. Dripstone is a difficult block to work with. I think it's, it's, it's okay for a bit of variety in the city, but I'll maybe not do too many of these, especially when I have a few of these about as well. Yeah, Dripstone. Mm, not my favourite block, I have to say. It's right up there with Tough uh, being just a, just a terrible block to work with. Do you know my biggest problem with it is uh, you don't have slabs or stairs or walls or whatever with it. It's just frustrating. Why would they do that? Why would they keep adding blocks but not put stairs and slabs and everything with it? I'm ranting. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is build more. Basically, I want to fill a whole bunch of sections up with a few other houses um, from along this row, down that row, across here, and across there. Okay? Okay.
So there we have the first stage of today's build, and it's just a bunch of houses. Now, this is probably the sort of, uh, I think, the, the biggest amount of houses I've built in one um, session, in one video, and it's worked a lot. It's ad actually added a lot to the uh, the overall area, the feel of it. It just looks a little more lived in, and that's rather nice. Well, my ultimate goal, my ultimately goal, my ultimate goal, ultimately, is to be able to walk around the city and everywhere I see is just filled in. So there's no gaps like this where I see the forests and the whatever. There's no gaps at all. Um, I'm thinking what I could maybe do to facilitate that a little bit, uh, make it a little bit easier, is to have like a big wall around the city. Now that was the original plan uh, from the very beginning, although I, I was going against it a little bit. But honestly, I kind of like the idea of it. So the city is like a big walled off city. I think that could be cool. Now, uh, let's have, take a look at the buildings over here. So, obviously, the dripstone one, not my favourite block at all, but it's okay. It's it, it's fine. And it is next to my favourite building, actually. I really like the look of this one. The black stone with the uh, black concrete powder, I think, works rather well, especially with just like a really flat, basic um, grey wall. I think it looks cool with the chains and stuff. That's nice. So I'll probably repeat that in a few places around the city. Over here, we have a house that's recessed back from this one. So you've got that sort of uh, that gap there, which is nice. And then it has the stairs going up to the level here. And then it has a little like basement feature. So that's pretty cool. Um, something that I've been wanting to do throughout the city. I've just kept forgetting, basically. Um, but yeah, I really like that. I think that is a more sort of New York thing, kind of. Let's see, let's take a look over here. Over, well, okay, so this side is just some basic houses. There's nothing too special. I do like the Blackstone one again, though, but this time using um, light grey concrete powder. It still works. It's pretty cool. Now, over here, we have a gap and then another basic, basic house over here. And this one's pretty cool as well with the black concrete powder. I do like that. It's very nice. Um, you know, all these ones I've actually done, the most recent ones, I think they're looking better each time. So that's pretty cool, <laughs> apart from the dripstone. This one, I managed to use tough. I've actually used tough, finally. It's not a block that I, very, I like very much, but it, I think it works in this situation next to the light grey concrete powder. And that's pretty cool. Do you know what I've not done for the city that is part of my plans? The gothic style. Okay, so what's going to happen is, I just want to remind people, at the top of all of these cyberpunk buildings there's actually going to be another layer of buildings probably maybe maybe higher than these <laughs> maybe as maybe taller than these i think so uh like up to there sort of ish and it's going to be like a gothic style and i'm thinking going to use the the deep slate probably with maybe nether brick or blackstone i'm not really sure but like a really sort of ominous looking uh, yeah, gothic styles, like uh, like castle type things, but mm, no, probably not castles, but uh, something along those lines, like towers and stuff up there. I just wanted to remind people, because I haven't done it at all, I haven't really worked any sort of design out for it just yet, but it's coming, okay? That's definitely my plan. All right, so uh, how about we get working on one of these buildings here? So I want a building here, and I want a building there. Oh, I forgot to mention, I put a little sign on the side of the building there, uh, just randomly, to see how it, it would look. Uh, excuse you. I think it works. So I might use that more frequently about the place as well. That's another cool little detail that sort of uh, draws your eye as you look up. So that's nice. So yeah, a building up here, and then a building up here that I've got designed already, so I might as well build it today as well. And then I'm thinking maybe have like a, a walkway go between them. So again, just something in the sky to draw your eye towards it, like that does. So that'd be quite cool, I feel like. Anyway, I've got a few materials to gather first, but once I've done that, let's get building.
Right, so that's the first building done. Uh, and as you can see, the big corporations are moving into the mega city. I don't know what the mega city is going to be called yet. Okay, just leave me alone on that just for a little while before I think of a name. Netflix have moved in. Now, uh, Netflix in this timeline are uh, one of the seven major corporations that own the world. Yep, that's the uh, story I'm going with. So they've moved into the mega city, the cyberpunk city, and they are bringing with them lots of power and wealth. And um, that's going to fund my cyberpunk vampire lifestyle. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. I have a picture in my mind, okay, where you're flying around a city on the monorail. And as you're looking across, you see all these big, huge, tall buildings with all the different signs and stuff glowing. And uh, they're all like different corporations. Like I said, the big seven corporations that we're going to have in the city. And Netflix is one of them. So uh, I wanted the Netflix logo somewhere. I think it works. And it also works into with the idea of this sort of area of the city, this direction being um, more like the wealthy sides. So this is where all the executives live, you know, all the uh, the the executives that have uh, big, powerful executive names that don't actually do anything. Yes, that's how I view executives in today's corporate world. Okay, so that's the first building done. As you can see, right there, there's a little doorway, and that is going to lead to a bridge going across to this building, which I guess I should probably build now. And that's it. The second building is done and Facebook have moved to the mega city. It's beautiful. This was not originally going to be the Facebook building. It was completely different colors and stuff, but I changed it all around because I wanted a second big corporation. I know that Facebook is now owned by Meta, but Meta logo is stupid and I don't like the name. So Facebook it is. Yes. I like it. This is a pretty simple design, actually. Um, I love the buildings around this place. I'm a little bit disappointed with myself with because they're just like straight up. They're like there's a few little shape changes and stuff around here, but most of them are just straight up. And that's kind of disappointing. So we'll have to change that up for the future for a few different builds that we'll be doing around the place. But this one's okay. It's all right for now. And um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with both of these. And then we have the lovely sky bridge joining the two i would go up there and walk across and show you the view but um i don't really have a proper way up there did i leave some scaffolding up there maybe we'll try that okay so we're up on top of the bridge here and it's great you get a great view of the city and it should be a lot better very soon once we've actually filled it out a little more so you can imagine you know buildings filling the view there and over behind the aquarium here and here obviously there and also behind us here because this is the actual edge of where i want to build so this is the edge of the city essentially here you can see wintertooth has his bridge here and a path that's connecting to uh, every base on the server which is a whole lot of work thank you very much mr window truth would not want that job myself um but i'm thinking like another building here okay and then another one here 
And then another one here. And then surrounding the entire city, we're going to have the wall. The great wall surrounding it. It's just essentially just going to be a huge flat wall of, I don't know, some sort of um, futury cyberpunky style, I think. And uh, hopefully it looks, should look pretty cool, methinks. But yeah, this is great. I'm actually really loving the the look of the city. It'll be great once again once we get some of the more uh, more of the canals built in and get all the dark purple everywhere. I love it. I love it a lot. All right, but do you know what? Do you know what? Now that we have a couple of major corporations moved into the city, right? It brings a little more legitimacy to the city. You know, it brings a little more power to the city a little more energy and i'm feeling it i really am i can feel the energy flowing around me i have to say i'm feeling a little bit better so perhaps it's time to start healing up myself and finally remove the paper bag Oh yeah, that feels much better. Yes, indeed, much better. But it seems that the blast from my castle has in fact permanently damaged my eye. Just a little tribute to Etho, maybe? I don't know. I just like the idea of having the scar across one eye with it being red. I thought it was pretty cool. It's pretty anime, but that's a good thing. Yep. <laughs> And a few more sort of uh, cyberpunk or cybernetic things attached to the skin uh, just to give the the top armor just a little bit more, I don't know, have a little bit more of an effect. You know when you're walking around wearing armor but you have an elytra and you're not wearing your chest piece but you have leggings. It looks a little bit stupid in my opinion, a little bit crappy. But now it doesn't look too bad. I've got a little thing covering up my chest and that. I think that's pretty cool. I think that's pretty decent. Now you may notice I am still not wearing any netherite. I do not have netherite tools, but I'm probably going to cave in and get some at some point in the near future because um, they're just it's it's better, isn't it? I guess. Plus, I do think the netherite might actually look pretty cool with this skin. Will I get an elytra? Mm, eventually, eventually, I think I will. But you know what? I have heard of some shenanigans going on at spawn, you know, so why don't we go take a look? Oh, oh my. Oh, that is a beautiful build. Wow. Oh, this is the moss shop, right? This is from Josh. Excellent. In fact, he's in there right now, waiting, just waiting for someone to feed him profits. Um, oh, hello. That's a thing that is there. Now, it seems there has recently been a bit of shenanigans between two opposing factions on the server, that being... Uh, the DSMC, which I've previously mentioned, has a lot of businesses around the area. Some would say maybe too many businesses, and perhaps took umbrage at this and decided to start an all-out war. Which I'm glad to say has finally finished. I think the other guys were this called Drippo or something. I haven't actually been paying attention too much, but I'm pretty sure they're called Drippo. Or maybe that's Drip. I, I don't know. Okay, oh, and there's also a giant ice baby involved yeah yep that's something 
Okay, so the Ice Baby has been part of the shenanigans, part of this war between the uh, the the Montagues and the Capulets. Please, someone get that reference, or there's no hope for this world. Do you know what though? I feel like war never changes. No, war is a good thing. These guys fighting amongst each other actually makes me happy, quite frankly. Do you know why? Cast your minds back to the end of season three, with a huge meteorite hurtling towards our world. How did I find out about it? Purely by chance. Not a single person on this server gave me any kind of warning. In fact, when I discovered the meteorite, everyone had already gone. They had left me behind. So you'll forgive me if I have no sympathy for these people. Frankly, I was hoping this war would end up with them obliterating each other. Now, I've been focusing my energy on healing. On fixing my face. <laughs> but I'm feeling much better now. So perhaps it's time to focus my energy on something else. Like, oh, I don't know. Getting revenge. Something to think about. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, leave a comment, and if you'd like to see more, click the subscribe button. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.